Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spock coming at you with another song of building the team. So, um, last couple weeks we were uh, doing the league play, but uh, a tournament popped up uh, in a, wait, for you know, a few weeks from now, and most of uh, my group decided they were going to go. So, we're uh, instead focusing on uh, just the 300 modern practice. And in, in an effort, and so that um, those of us who are going to the tournament can get to know our uh, <clears throat> get to know our our, uh, our teams, you know, remember the you know various triggers and whatnot. Um, we are focusing, as said, for the next couple next few weeks on uh, three hundred modern. So I admittedly just uh, put together. Threw together one of uh, my league teams that uh, one of the teams I uh, built previously for uh, league pl for the uh, league play. Actually, I, I had built it before we uh, de decided on the 300 modern uh, league play with banning the uh, each uh, each winner's uh, teams or the the winning teams uh, from you know the until the dura for the duration of uh, league play. <clears throat> so, it's a vehicle team. Um, been a... I think it's been about a minute since we uh, did one of those. So, our, on the team we've got uh, two copies of uh, Frenchie. Frenchie comes in at uh, 25 points and has the... Uh, Detective, pilot, soldier, and vehicle keywords. He also got a trait, ride like the wind. At the beginning of the game, you may choose a friendly character with the vehicle keyword that hasn't been uh, chosen by another uh, Wheels of Vengeance 12 uh, Frenchie. If you do, turn Frenchie to any click and place them on the chosen character's card. This game, that uh, character can use the powers displayed on Frenchie's dial, and when the chosen character is KO'd, place Frenchie into its square into the square that character last occupied on click number one. Okay. Looking at his dial, it's a, short, a pretty short dial, 25 points. We've got uh, on speed, click a stealth, and click a sidestep. On attack, click of energy explosion, and click of uh, click a precision strike. On defense, we got a click of willpower. On damage, we've got a click of perplex, a click of enhancement, and a click of close combat expert. Generally speaking, um, the figure, the vehicles that he was uh, equipped to, had uh, were set up to uh, Cliff Three so that uh, to utilize uh, Frenchie's close combat expert and sidestep. But uh, anyways, next up we'll get into who uh, was uh, equipped, who had Frenchie's equipped. So next on the team we've got Robbie Reyes, the common from uh, Wheels of Vengeance. Robbie Reyes comes in at uh, 40 points or 20 points, running with uh, 40 points. Has the Avengers team ability as well as the Avengers mystical and vehicle keywords. We have a trait, or no, 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 that's not, that's not a trait. Looking at the dial, we've got on speed, three clicks of charge followed by three clicks of stealth. On attack, three clicks of precision and strike followed by three clicks of uh, smoke cloud. On defense, we got a full run of uh, combat reflexes. And on damage, we have a a full run of the uh, special power, Wheels of Fire. Perplex, but only to modify speed. When Robbie Reyes uses it to target a character with the vehicle keyword, he may mo instead modify speed plus two until your next turn. Or, and until your next turn, the targeted character has Mystics. Honestly, very, uh, very useful. Next up, we've got... Orb. Orb was at uh, 45 points, has the Assassin, Cosmic, Monster, Mystical, and Vehicle keywords. Um, we've also got a few, tra a couple traits. Yes. First off, we've got the Watcher's Stolen Eye. Orb's attack rolls of uh, one and one are critical hits instead of critical misses. When Orb attacks, you may replace one die in his attack roll with a one. 
Once per game, you may choose uh, that a friendly character's a critical miss becomes a, a critical hit. If you do, Orb can't use this trait this game. Okay. Yeah. Also, he has uh, improved movement, ignores, uh, ignores elevation, ignores and destroys uh, outdoor blocking, and uh, ignores uh, adjacent uh, ignores adjacent uh, opposing characters. Ma basically, he, he doesn't have to stop for when he gets it when he's uh, adjacent when he comes, becomes adjacent to a, a uh, an opposing it character. Next trait. Stun Rider in another life. Charge. Flurry, but only if Orb across the rim of elevated terrain this turn. When Orb attacks, modify his attack plus one for each of the following he moves through this turn. Hindering terrain, blocking terrain, and characters. Okay. And uh, he he was one of the he's one of the figures that was uh, equipped with a uh, Frenchie. So he also got uh, <clears throat> A plus one attack and plus one uh, damage for a close combat expert. So you really only have to worry about uh, getting crossing, uh, move, moving through uh, two of the three between hindering train, blocking train, and characters. But uh, looking at the dial, we've got four clicks of uh, running shot on speed, followed by three clicks of force blast on attack. We've got three, cl four clicks of uh, energy explosion, followed by three clicks of precision strike. On dam defense, we've got uh, three clicks or four clicks. Damn it, four clicks of uh, energy deflection and three clicks of super senses. And then on damage, we get uh, four clicks of probability control. Honestly, um, he's it's, orb is not a figure that's been slept on, so to speak. It's more that uh, everyone just kind of focuses in on his uh, trait and doesn't. Uh, I, I don't think that a lot of people have really seen the potential that uh, Frenchie ha or that uh, Orb with it, with a Frenchie equipped has. Next up, though, we've got Cyclops, the rare from uh, well, the only one from uh, of Cyclops from uh, Wolverine Weapon X. Cyclops comes in at uh, sixty points. Has the X-Men team ability as well as the Champions, X-Factor, X-Men, Pilot, and Vehicle keywords. Uh, he's also got uh, improved targeting, Northern Destroys blocking terrain. Um, we have a trait. Crash the Blackbird enough, you learn how to fix things. Support. Support is free, but only to target char characters with the robot or vehicle keyword. When Cyclops uses support is free, the chosen character can use energy deflection until your next turn. Then, uh, looking at his dial, we've got, uh, on speed, we open up with three clicks of the special power Smooth Moves, which grants uh, Sidestep and Force Blast. For the next four clicks, he gets uh, Force Blast, uh, well, just normal Force Blast. On attack, we've got a full run of uh, Penetrating Psychic Blast. On defense, we've got six clicks of Toughness, followed by one uh, click of a... Of a uh, Defense special power. Take off the glasses. Stop. When this power is first revealed, after resolutions, choose a direct line of fire away from Cyclops that can't be blocked to the edge of the, of the map. Destroy all blocking terrain along that line of fire, then deal two penetrating damage to all characters along that line of fire, then KO Cyclops. So, you know, it's... It's, uh... The hope is that you may maybe you can get uh, a lot of uh, a lot of characters who would are going to be potentially in that uh, on that along that line maybe uh, double base characters or and whatnot or you know maybe it's gonna, well that would be that would basically be the, you know the hope would be some double base characters and you know. Likely some characters that are single based and not close to the, uh, and not that close. That said, I actually got to uh, pull that off. I think every uh, match, every game I played today. It, it's a it's a fun little thing to do. Um, 
but it, uh, it got him a few points off of uh, Lucas. Also, uh, Cyclops is equipped with the motorcycle on the running shot dial to give him running shot. It's uh, kind of surprising that we've got here a good Cyclops that doesn't have running shot. I mean, he's got sidestep, but yeah. Sidestep, sidestep's cool if, you know, you really just want it to go, I'll move a little bit up. But, uh, yeah, anyways, wrapping up the team, we've got uh, the Super Rare Blade from Wheels of Vengeance. Blade comes in at uh, 90 points or 40 points. We were running at 90. Has the Avengers and Mystics team abilities as well as the Avengers, Marvel Knights, Midnight Suns, Monster, Mystical, and Vehicle keywords. Uh, also, improved movement ignores characters. Uh, and he has a pilot trait. Well, that's the only trait he has. Pilot, Blade, Monster. When revealing your force, you may choose a, a single base character on your sideline that is named Blade or has the monster keyword and turns to any click. Blade can use the standard attack and damage powers displayed on that character's dial. When Blade is KO'd before removing him from the map, generate the chosen character from your sideline on its last non-KO click. This game, that that character can't be healed or replaced and isn't scored when uh, KO'd. Protected Pulse Wave. Um, now, one thing to note, um, the the I think the, the only other time I've run this uh, Blade figure um, we were running uh, Doc Sasquatch from Wheels of Vengeance as the pilot as he, he has the monster keyword he has the monster keyword so yeah um, and the whole thing was that ideally speaking we get uh, five, some additional uh, run through the, of uh, with the character uh, being having his dial having Doc Sasquatch uh, his Doc Sasquatch's dial turned turned back to its uh, top click when uh, Doc Sasquatch is KO'd however uh, there has been a recent errata for the uh, <clears throat> the pilot trait and so that um, when a a pilot, a, a character for that was used for a pilot trait is uh, first the first under damage they are not just KO'd but they are removed from the game, and so therefore they they cannot be you can't do any when this character will be KO'd shenanigans. So we picked a new a new pilot and we'll get into that. Uh, but but first we'll take a look at uh, Blaze Dial. So on speed. We've got three clicks of charge followed by four clicks of uh, sidestep. On defense, or on attack, on attack, we've got uh, a full dial of special power. Titanium blade with acid etching. Blade Claw's fangs. When blade makes a close attack, after resolutions, deal one penetrating damage to each opposing character adjacent to a hit character. Nice for uh, dealing with, crowd, with uh, crowds. No? On uh, on defense, we've got three clicks of uh, impervious followed by four clicks of special power. Um, vampiric physiology, combat reflexes, super senses, but increase the result by plus one for each of the following that the attacker has or can use: monster keyword, missile keyword, steel energy. So potentially speaking, you can get him to uh, oh, succeeding on a uh, I think on two with. Uh, it says it's potentially, you know, it, the perfect, uh, perfect scenario. You got, you know, Blade go, being attacked by a, a uh, character with that has both the monster and mystical keywords as well as uh, Seal Energy on their, on their uh, click at the time, or traded Seal Energy. But then on damage, we've got two clicks of uh, Explore Weakness, followed by five clicks of prob Probability Control. Always a good thing to have. But uh, Blade was frequently uh, tar singled out as a target because, well, it's Blade and he does have, 
he does uh, pack a wall. So I I rarely got to use the uh, the probability control, uh, or more like I rarely got to use the exploit weakness as I used up getting knocked off of it. And uh, well, the probability control would would help, but yeah, not not the way it was uh, it, need, it was uh, needed. Not to the degree it was needed. However, uh, we mentioned that Blade's pilot it changed from uh, black, uh, from uh, not black, uh, black anything, uh, Doc Sasquatch to Black Hand. Now we're not going to go through Black Hand's dial. Suffice to say, though, that uh, the only relevant uh, details about the dial are the last click, wherein Black Hand has stealth, seal energy. Regenerate or regeneration and outwit. So basically, you can give uh, Blade steel energy and outwit. I mean, you you can put on any. Honestly, you can just put on any any click on the dial. But you know, the uh, that last click is the one that's going to be popping up. He's going to pop. He's going to be on when he pops off uh, when Blade gets KO'd. So giving and giving uh, Blade outwit and uh, steel energy is not necessarily a bad thing. But, uh, anyway, uh, the next two weeks are going to be more of, uh, it's been a modern practice, and we've got, uh, we've got, uh, three teams lined up. Probably ones to be cut something of a surprise. But, uh, anyways, that's going to do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, uh, Blue Sky, Instagram, Mastodon, Patreon, and Paybox can be found in the description box down below. Big shout out to Patreon patron Redman of the Penis. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.